Today we're going to talk about the mathematics of voguing. Let's consider the scenario where we need to choose where to go for lunch. We have 15 people that need to decide, and they're going to choose between Burger King, Domino's, and Pizza Hut. These people ranked their votes. Six people said Burger King was their first choice, Pizza Hut was their second choice, and Domino's was their third choice. Five people said Domino's was their first choice, Pizza Hut was their second choice, and Burger King was their third choice. And four people said Pizza Hut was their first choice, Domino's was the second choice, and Burger King was their third choice. So given this, how do we determine where we're going to go for lunch? Today, I'll walk us through three different methods of voting. The first system of voting is called plurality voting. This is where the candidate with the most votes wins. In the US, this is the most common voting system. In Hawaii, we use this for the governor, state legislators, US senators, and US representatives. So using plurality voting, who wins? If we're just looking at first choice, then Burger King wins because they have six votes compared to the five that Domino's has and four that Pizza Hut has. But let's take a look at this a little more carefully. Six people voted for Burger King, but we had a total of five plus four, nine people voted for pizza. So we have more people voting for pizza than burgers, but yet the Burger King votes won. So how do we take into consideration when we have more people wanting pizza, but they can't decide which pizza place they really want, and so they end up splitting their votes, five and four, and losing to Burger King, which has six, even though the majority of the people, 60%, prefer pizza. The second voting system is called an instant runoff voting. This is where voters rank their candidates and the candidate with the least amount of votes is eliminated. But don't worry, if your candidate was eliminated, we're still gonna count your votes for your next choice. And we repeat this until we have a majority of votes for one candidate. So if you have five candidates, the least amount, the fifth place candidate gets eliminated, but then everyone who chose them for their first selection gets their next choice and then we keep eliminating then the fourth and third until we have a winner. This was used recently in the Hawaii Democratic presidential primary. It's also used in Maine and New York City, as well as several other countries. Looking at our scenario, Pizza Hut only had four first choice votes, so Pizza Hut was eliminated. But everyone that voted for Pizza Hut can have their second choice, in this case, Domino's, count. So now Domino's has a total of 5 plus 4 votes, so Domino's has 9 votes. That means Domino's wins, because Burger King still just has 6 votes. But hang on, if we carefully examine the votes, you notice that more people prefer Pizza Hut over Domino's. So we have 6 and 4 votes, so the total of 10 votes that prefer Pizza Hut over Domino's, and only 5 votes prefer Domino's to Pizza Hut. So how do we consider this? Well, in this case, we do something called the board account. This system of voting ranks each candidate, and then points are assigned to candidates depending on the rank. If there are 3 candidates, then the first choice gets 3 points, the second choice gets 2 points, and the third choice gets one point. If you had 10 candidates, the first choice gets 10 points, all the way down to the 10th choice, getting only one point. And this is also used in several countries. So going back to our scenario with the different votes, Burger King, which has six first choice votes, no second choice votes, and nine third choice votes, this gives us 6 times 3 plus 9 times 1, or 27 points for Burger King. Domino's, which has 5 first choice votes, 4 second choice votes, and 6 third choice votes. 
for a total of 29 points. Because 5 times 3 plus 4 times 2 plus 6 times 1 gives us 29. And finally, Pizza Hut, which had 4 first choice votes, 11 second choice votes, and 0 third choice votes, gives us 4 times 3 plus 11 times 2 equals 34 points. So we see that Pizza Hut wins. So we just went over three different methods of voting, and we got three different winners. With plurality voting, Burger King won. With instant runoff, Domino's won. And with board account, Pizza Hut won. There are many other voting systems, but we just can't agree on which system is best. And I'll leave you with Errol's impossibility theorem. And that states that no reasonable, consistent, and fair voting system can result in logical results when there are three or more choices.